Hello to you all. Um, this is Cecil Shai um, from uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I have my two friends, um, Simon and Ethan. Um, we're here um, right now at Turkey, Istanbul, um, flying to um, Somalia. We're we're here today because it was about uh, a month ago that uh, my oldest and dearest uh, Somali friend uh, Saeed Oshai um, reached out to me and just said, "This is what's happening in my country," and began to describe the the crushing famine affecting the country of Somalia and um, South Sudan and that that entire region. Both Saeed and I, you know, recognize that uh, the Quran calls us to love our neighbors and that the Bible calls us to love our neighbors and even the most basic self-interest suggests it's a really good idea to care for, for those around you. And the problem and the struggle is that when we hear about suffering around the world, on the other side of the world, it seems, it seems distant and we can look at them as something other than our neighbors. We're just excited to see what we can contribute and what we can do to help the Somali people. Um, as well as documenting the famine and what's going on so people really can catch a grasp of what is actually happening um, on the ground in Somalia and why it, it is so devastating. I'm a UK citizen and uh, I have two of my family and children there. And there are some of them are in the smallest is in high school and the rest are in the university, some of them are working. I was working and I left that. Because I came to know that my people missed the you know, terrorist attack last year on 21st of August. Uh, the entire hospital has still there really and has still a shock. So the only way you can you can overcome someone who is uh, who has, is out of mind mm -hmm. is to respond in positive, positive. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a show we are making that. You destroy it, your mentality is destruction. How we here. So we need two missions to answer that threat. Then mm -hmm. it was to make a temporary rehabilitation where possible, mm -hmm. so that the healthcare service of the second world make a plan to have a new, new hospital. And uh, we have, you can see from here, how the new hospital will be in the future. So in short, we are in that stage, we would love that the American people, if they support to, to finish up their last nice project, mm -hmm. we can further the, the bill of quantities yes. as well as the, the architect design. We need supplies, many. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, because we are speaking with the supplies, supplies and supplies. Mm -hmm. We had the opportunity to go to Somalia to document the famine and more than document the famine, we also had the opportunity to interact with and document just the incredible leaders uh, in Somalia. In addition to documenting the need, which I have to say is profound and every bit as urgent as we feared, uh, there are groups of people um, in, in camp, we call them IDP camps or camps for internally displaced persons. These are people that are coming primarily from the countryside to not even dedicated camps, but they're coming together without resources, hoping that they can just get enough people together that they can get support, they can get relief, they can get the urgent aid that they need, just the most basic food and water they're suffering from, they don't have. The need is profound. The, the, the best problems are malnutrition and cholera. The worst problems are actual starvation and, um, and dying from, from dehydration. One of the things that um, our team is, is figuring out is you know, ways that we can take that food to bring it to the, the uh, needy groups, the specifically groups that were in the camp who didn't have any food or anything. We cannot underestimate how incredible how inspiring, how courageous the leaders were that we met. Again, not just in Mogadishu, but in Galkayo, which is a regional capital, a regional hub, and all the way to Goldugub, which is on the Ethiopian border. At every corner, at every turn, we ran into and we met and we sat down and we dialogued with tremendous leaders that made tremendous sacrifices, personal 
and otherwise to, to build something great, to build something beautiful in Somalia. You know, it was an honor for me to go um, with Simon and Ethan to Somalia. Um, knowing that Somalia is a very dangerous place, um, and what we hear and see from the media, um, you know, a country that they have never been, they travel with me, um, you know, allowing me to take that responsibility to go to Somalia. And we came back with, with a totally different perspective. Our job actually starts right now. Um, and so I wanted to say that regardless of, of um, what we hear from the media, we are determined and we will go back and we will help our people. Along with our non-Somali friends, who actually we adopted, adopted them right now, uh, both Simon and Ethan are half Somali, no, full Somali. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Thank you so much.